Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, this time I'm doing another cake stand and I'm using the peacock mold. It's the S size from Mold and Shapes. So um, it's actually um, the bigger one the M size and the smaller one the S size. But I always call it the S side, uh, size size. Um, cake stand because it's the smallest version you can do <laughs> yeah there you see me mixing my glitter because I want to use some glitter so I use um, holographic glitter from uh, Miss Colorberry it's from the Aura box it's the gold holographic glitter and I also mixed a little bit of the champagne glitter in there which is not holographic, and some of the golden metal leaves. The resin I'm using is the B20 resin from Dippon. It's a low viscosity resin, and I think for the pores into those mandala molds, it's the best you can do. So you avoid the air bubbles, because um, these molds have so much details so yeah it's always difficult to avoid the air bubbles you can either also spray alcohol into your mold before you start pouring and also a little bit alcohol later on your pour or even into your resin but i'm mainly um, torching my resin before i pour and um yeah, and what I should not do, but I'm always doing this. I also torch my resin while it's in the mold. But with this, you need to be careful. But we will come to this. So this is my glitter mix. And I want it rather sparkly, so, so I have a nice outside. Yeah, these molds... Um, other molds from Mold and Shapes, like I probably already mentioned, and like you maybe also recognize. And yeah, if you're interested in this mold, just check my description box. And if you use the promo code PT5, you get 5% discount on every purchase order. I think this is good. Anyway, this is now the mint from Miss Color Berry, and I mix it into my resin. I like the color very much. It's a really yummy color. So I'm stirring this well up. My next color is the false green. It's from the Karat box. So I have the Karat box with a lot of colors because I also wanted to see how the other colors are from Miss Color Berry, and this time I, I've chosen the forest green. Also mixing these, this very well up in my cup. I'm using these forever cups and also these forever sticks from Miss Color Berry, because you can use them again and again. And for bigger pores, they are idle. When I'm doing like the flowers, um, I'm still using for mixing up and, and pouring the little paper cups. But I'm hoping that she will um, release also soon smaller cups. So this would be great. Then it avoids to buy any more paper cups. So my next color is um, the pearl white. Also from Miss Color Berry. And I'm stirring this well up. It's very important to stir very, very good. Otherwise, you know, it could happen that your mica is floating on top. And this is not what I want. Because it doesn't look so nicely. And now my last color. And it's from the Aura box. And it's a 27. And it has a little bit a green sheen to it. So 
yeah, I'm really looking forward to see how it looks with the um, with the peacock mandala when you pour these um, colors into the peacock. Also stirring this very well up. Yeah, still need to clean my mold a little bit because there's always something, especially when you brush it before. I brushed it before with mica in a different pour. So there's always a little bit left. So you need to see that you clean it very well. So this is now my glitter mix. And I'm pouring this right into the edges of my mold and it's very very sparkly and now i'm using the forest green and you see i'm torching it a little bit and i'm pouring around it around my glitter line. So there I want, yeah, I'm using a paper cup, you see it, because I want to use a little bit of resin and pour around my green. And now I need to see, this is the 27 with this really nice sheen of green. I'm not sure if you can already see it. It's always very difficult to see. Now I'm taking the mint. And pour around. And this is now my pearl white. And I'm pushing this out with a little bit of clear. and some more of my glitter just around. And again, a little bit of the green. So I'm hoping that my colors are mixing with each other very well, that it will look nicely and also not so strictly in the mold. This is what I want to achieve. And I'm not filling up my mold because I want to make a back layer. But about this we, we talk later. And again, some of the pearl. And I'm really hoping for some nice effects on the background. Or on the top side, I don't know how you say this. Is this the back or the top side? <laughs> you know what I mean. And I'm now doing similar into my little mold. Yeah, I need to make a little bit space, otherwise it's always difficult to pour.
and again yeah filling my side a little bit up and again the um, forest green making space again <laughs> And getting some more clear to go around my green, like I did with the other mold. <laughs> and I always have something in my way. <laughs> I don't know why I always place the cups where where I need um, to have space. So, well, <laughs> what can I say? So now again the 27. This pretty um, greenish sheen. It has a greenish sparkle to it. It's it's very beautiful. And the mint. And now the pearl white again. Some clear. And my glitter mix. See if there's still something in there. Yes. And my forest green. The 27. And the mint. And again, a little bit clear to push my colors a little bit out. And the pearl. So I'm giving this all a little torch. And this is my pour done. So I'm getting my gloves off and then I take you down for a close up. So, I like how the colors are blending. It really looks a little bit like, like alcohol ink drawing at the sides. And this I really like. And also with the glitter lines. Yeah, so far I'm, I'm very happy about it. This is now um, around about half an hour later. And you see how the colors are blending with each other. Yeah, nicely. So this is now around about 24 hours later. And I decided to go blue because it's um, peacock. And I thought I take a rather strong blue. So it's for me very risky. <laughs> I, device, I divide my resin into two cups. So... For each one I have my cup. Yeah, I'm just taking the blue out of the bag. It's also from the carrot box. And 
it's a really really nice blue I would say it's almost like a sapphire blue really like it a lot giving it a good stir And now the other one. And then I can pour on the top. <laughs> yeah, I really like this peacock mandala. Um, this is really um, together with the Dahlia mandala, my, my favorite one. Yeah, this needs a little bit more to be more opaque. And touching it a little bit before I pour it into my mold. So now you can see it's really, really a beautiful blue color. Touching a little bit, but like I said, just be careful not to overdo it with the torching. I mean, um, you can easily burn your silicone mold so far and touch wood. It didn't happen to me. But like I said, you need to be very careful. So. Now my second one giving it a good stir again. There I have a little bit left in my cup. So I'm using this for the little one. And again, the torch. And now I'm filling up my small mold. Yeah, I'm just waiting a little bit to see how the resin is settled and how much I still need to pour in. Yeah, there's always something getting into my resin. Well. This can still have a tiny bit more. the torch again and that's my mold done my molds just take a little bit of resin out of this little um, part where will be the hardware installed and now it's again 24 hours later and unmolding time so i'm really curious because i'm a little bit afraid with the center that it was too light but we will see so on the second one Yeah, they are always a little bit um, like birds where you sometimes miss um, the mold and you have a little bit resin stuck to the side when you don't clean it proper. Yeah, and it happened what I said. The center for me, it's a little bit too light. But we find a solution for this. And also here. But so far, I'm quite happy. 
I'm happy with how the colors blended. But I decided um, you will see it in a bit. First the close up. Yeah, I like the um, glitter line or the glitter edges. So what I did, I used the extreme sheen um, sapphire blue and I just um, rubbed it with my finger into my mold, into all these little um, designs of the peacock. And now I'm getting rid with a soft towel of all the acrylic paint. So I'm doing this for a while and I show you later the final product. So that's it and I'm very happy how it turned out. I'm very happy I chose um, the blue color and yeah hope you like it too and thanks for watching guys and we see each other for my next video take care and bye bye